Hello my friends, today we are inside of Lightroom Classic and we will edit better black and white photographs. We'll start with this image. This is a stock image and uh, I really like the colors in it. I thought it was really pretty. And usually if you have a great colored image that would make an awesome black and white image. So let's see how I will start. First, I see the horizon is not very straight. So I will go here into the crop tool and this is your angle horizon straightener. So if I click on this ruler, now I can just click on one side, hold it down, click on this other side and it will automatically straighten the horizon. Next, I want to increase some contrast, maybe around that much. Highlights, I'm going to bring them down a little bit. I'm going to open out the shadow a little bit. If you hold down option on the Mac and you move your whites to the right, you will see when you start clipping. So you do not want to clip. You want to stop just before the red starts showing up. And pretty much the same for blacks. If you hold down option and move it to the left this time, you will see where you start to clip blacks. So that looks good to me so far. I am going to add some texture and a little bit of clarity. Plus 22 and plus 11 looks good for this image. Vibrance, I am going to increase it to plus 21. And let's see. I think we are ready. I'm going to add some sharpening. I'm going to increase it to about 33. Hold down option on the Mac and move masking to the right. And I just want to sharpen the foreground and the boat. I do not want to sharpen the water or the sky. That looks good. Click remove chromatic aberration and enable profile correction. Now let's move into our uh, black and white conversion. If you go here to the top, you see you have treatment, color and black and white. I am going to click on black and white. And now let's see. I am go to the black and white mix. This is where you can change the luminance on each color. And we know the water and the sky has a lot of blue, so I want to turn the blue down. That way it darkens up a little bit and we get some contrast between the lights and the darks. I will also do the aqua a little bit down. If you remember, the boat was green, so I want to make the greens darker too. And then we know we have some orange and yellow onto the foliage. So I'm going to increase the yellows and the oranges just so we can get some contrast. That way the boat really stands out. Looking at this image, it still needs a little bit more contrast. So for that, I am going to go into the curve tool and I am going to add a little bit of an S curve. Just like that. Now I would also like to add the vignette. And for that, I like to do my vignettes with the radial filter instead of the vignette tool, because the radial filter would allow me to do the vignette wherever I want to. In this case, it so happened it's kind of in the middle, but this will allow you to do it wherever you want and change the color if you work in a color photo. So with the radiant gradient, I will just draw a radiant and then I'll go into my mask and I will invert it. And now I will take exposure down and the blacks now are being crushed. So I want to lift the black so it doesn't look so dark in the corners, something like that. And this is our, our vignette before and after, before and after. All right. So let's see. We started with this image and we turned it into this image. Now I might even want to add some details to this tree and the boat just to make it stand out a little bit more. And I will do that by using a brush mask. I'll click the brush mask and then I will add some texture and a little bit of clarity. And with the brush, I'll make it a little bit smaller. And here is a trick. If you click and then hold down shift and you click on the um, other side, then you will just get a straight line. And I will paint some on this boat as well. Let's see, show overlay. I kind of went a little bit over, but that's okay. I can always uh, go to my mask and I can 
subtract with the brush and I can erase where I painted too much. There you go. I don't want to sharpen the water. We'll just go like that. I will close my brush tool and now let's see this is our before and after before and after and this is how i would edit black and white images into lightroom classic if you're not subscribed to this channel please do subscribe turn on that notification button so you will not miss future videos my name is skylar ewing thank you so much for watching and i will see you in my next video